Hi everyone! In this video, we will demonstrate how to install an SSL certificate on IBM IHS. First, navigate to the bin directory of your installed IBM HTTP server and ensure that the IHS server is stopped. In our case, it's already in a stopped state. Now, let's create a key file database using the gskcmd utility with the provided command. You can find the command in the YouTube description below this video. Next, we'll create a Certificate Signing Request, or CSR, using the command below. We'll provide this file to SSL Dragon for obtaining our certificate. Please note that the CSR must be created using the GSK CMD utility. Importing the certificate directly into the KDB won't work as it would be considered a CA certificate. There must be an entry for the CSR in the KDB file. Use the command provided in the YouTube description. To verify that the CSR has been created successfully, you can list and check the entry for it in our KDB file. Find the command in the YouTube description. You can also check and verify the created CSR file as shown in the video. Now, let's add the personal certificate to the KDB file using the GSKCMD utility. Find the command in the YouTube description below. Verify that the certificate has been uploaded successfully to the KDB file. Check the YouTube description for the command. Now, we need to add the CA Intermediate and Root CA certificates to the KDB using the GKS CMD utility. Use the commands provided in the YouTube description for each certificate. After adding the certificates, verify that they have been successfully imported into the KDB. You'll find the command in the YouTube description. Now, set our imported personal certificate as the default certificate as shown in the video. This command should run successfully, as it's crucial for our personal certificate to be used in SSL communication. The command is available in the YouTube description. Check the default certificate and confirm its status. Please note that we have used the GSK Kappa CMD command to check the personal certificate, although it's not shown in GKS CMD. You can use GSK Kappa CMD throughout the process instead of GSK CMD. Find the command in the YouTube description. Proceed to make the required configuration changes in the httpd.conf file as demonstrated in the video.
Now, start the service using the Apache CTL command as shown in the video. Check the process using the ps or ps-ef grep httpd. Confirm that the server is listening on the desired port using the netstat or netstat-tulpn grep443. Finally, open your web browser and navigate to the URL. Click on the padlock icon to view the certificate details, just as shown in the video. Thank you for watching this video. You can save 10% on any SSL certificate order on SSL Dragon by using the promo code YouTube10 at checkout.